Hello beer fans, Hero Brewing Company here, doing another beer vlog, beer review, uh, and welcome to my beer library. Today we're going to be trying Boot Tread Belgian Amber Ale, brewed and bottled by the Martins Brewing Company. Uh, it says, Boot Tread is a well-balanced Belgian Amber Ale, brewed with fresh Cascade and Saize hops. Biscuit malt in moderate bitterness and a touch of roasted caramel in the finish. Boot Tread celebrates the adventurous nature of those who enjoy this wonderful brew. Um, let's see, this is out of Minnesota, but it says product of Belgium. Mm. Uh, and that's all you get, kids. All right, so there's the bottle. It's got the uh, a logo of a boot tread on it. This was a uh, um, the best pick of a local store here uh, that I buy beer from frequently, and so they had it on there like their pick of the month or something like that. And so I was like, I'll try it. I'll give it a go. So here we go. Boot. It's uh, boot tread on the uh, the cap there. Good carbonation. The color itself is like a dark caramel color. Uh, it's a really good... There we go. There we go. You guys see it now? It's a, it's a, that's a good color. Uh, a lot of bubbles coming up still. <sighs> so you can, you can smell some spices. Uh, it's kind of a caramely hint in there actually, but also smells kind of like a stick. So it's a spicy uh, caramely stick. We'll give it a go. That's good, actually. It's good. It has... You can taste spices in it, definitely. It has a... Kind of like a fruitiness taste in it as well. Um, not like something super overpowering. Just like a, a hint of a fruit taste in there. Like, you know, you get a handful of trail mix. And it's mostly peanuts and pretzels. And, and then you pop it in your mouth and you taste like an aftertaste of uh, raisins. Yeah, that's the taste you get from this. Not the raisin taste, just the fruit taste inside everything else that you thought wasn't fruit. That's pretty good. So the first taste that enters your mouth is like spices. Kind of like... Um, uh, it's, it's probably not coriander at all, but that's the first thing that pops in my mind is like, let's say you're, you're marinating a, uh, a pork chop, okay? All those spices that you put on the pork chop, that's the first taste I get. Um, it's not bad tasting whatsoever. Doesn't taste like a pork chop, but you know. Then you get the fruit taste. I don't know where that's coming from. Um, then afterwards, you do taste like a caramely, but it's like a Werther's original kind of caramely, like, like you chewed it up, you didn't suck on it, and then um, after you chewed it up, it's like a, that filmy stuff on your teeth. That's the caramel aftertaste I get. Is like, like you chewed up a Werther's original, and now you got that that stuff on your teeth. That's that's what it is. Uh, it's really good um, combination all together. All of those together is uh, is really good. Now it's February in the um, I got this about a week and a half ago, and the best the best brewed date on there is uh, um, September seventeenth, two thousand nineteen. So uh, they put it way out there. So I had this like right after it was made, basically. Um, I'm pretty impressed with it. So. Out of all of the Belgian amber ales, 
I'll probably just put this in the Belgian category. This is a lot broader. Out of all the Belgian um, style beers, Belgian ales I've ever had, I would, 100 being the best, zero being like muddy water, um, I'd give this a, um, like about a 75. Yeah, uh, I do think it could be better as far as maybe like smoother, um, because when you drink something, you don't want to like, like, I don't want to drink the whole thing. I don't want it to be that smooth. Like, I don't want to pick this up and just drink the whole thing like a, like a glass of water or something like that. But I do want to take a few drinks of it before I, like, have to come up for air type of thing. Uh, so, a 75. I think that's fair. Uh, um, pick of the month actually worked out. I usually don't pick up the pick of the month because I think, like, in the back of my mind that they're just trying to sell me stuff that, like, they over ordered by accident like they're like oh we want 10 cases of this but they accidentally put another zero now they got 100 cases and they're like hey we gotta sell this crap um but this actually was pretty good so uh good job um to that company i'm not gonna endorse anybody uh but uh to that company that i buy my beer from and i buy from like uh about four different stores uh, like wine and beer stores um, around this area in southern Ohio. So, you know, try something you never had before. If you haven't tried anything, uh, if you haven't had Boot Tread, go give it a try. Uh, I've never heard of Martin's Brewing Company, so if you've tried anything else from them, leave a, leave a comment. I'm, I'm always eager to try other stuff from uh, breweries. So, leave a comment and uh, cheers.